Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of my Dream Team Youth Academy Edition. How are you doing? Thank you very much for joining me today. Today, I think we might have finally turned a corner. In the last episode, you would notice that we haven't won in five games in all competitions. After putting in a new formation, it was nice to look at, but defensively, we were all over the shop, conceding goals left, right and centre. So what we've done, we've gone back to an original formation that we used in last season, and the proof is in the pudding. The results have been fantastic. But before we jump in and see the improvements of the new slash old formation and the results, Please hit that like button. I'm looking to get 10 likes on this episode. If we can get that 10 likes, that'd be absolutely fantastic. Also, if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you're notified when a new video does go live. Right, Harchester, we're back on the up. Have we finally turned a corner? And are we going to go for a promotion push? So, if you remember rightly, in the last episode, we finished losing 4 2 to league leaders Fulham after being 1 0 up at half time. Fulham came out and absolutely annihilated us, winning 4-2. At that time, the board were not happy about brand exposure. We haven't won a game in five games in all competitions. We were absolutely shocking. You know, morale was low. But we have managed to change it. Going back to an old formation that we used last season, reverting back to our 3-4-1-2 formation that we used in last season, the results are finally, finally starting to pick up and we're back on winning ways. Also, if you have noticed, there is a new player amongst the team. We will go through him in a second. But before we get to him, let's go through the previous results of the last couple of games since we last met and this rise of the Harchester team. So the first game was a 1-0 win over Wigan. James Gale with the only goal of the game. He's back in a striker for, well, not playing as a cam anymore. A game we should have won quite easily. We did keep a clean sheet, which is good. But James Gale with the only goal. Our first win in six. But here we go. Let's get the momentum of winning again before the international break, which came straight after. Back to winning ways because we've got a tough couple of games coming up as well. We've got a couple of relegation candidates to play in the next couple of weeks. Plus, we had a massive game against Bristol City, which was next up after the international break. So they were itching to get back onto the pitch and show that the 1-0 win against Wigan was not a coincidence. Because Bristol City came to us at home at the Dragon's Lair and we smashed them 6, yes, 6-1. Sanchez getting us underway in the 10th minute before a very, very dubious penalty was given against us. And Tommy Conway put it away after 63. And I, when I mean dubious, I mean the tackle was outside the box. Numerous replays, the tackle was outside the box. Still a glitch. We tackle outside the box and the referee gives a penalty. But never mind, we'll, we'll carry on. Tommy Conway puts it away for 1-1. One, one. And this is where the game went absolutely ridiculous. Sanchez getting his second in the 77th minute. Then his third in the 85th to make it 3-1. I mean, that's it. Game over. It's fine. We'll take a 3-1 win. But two minutes later, James Gale gets on the score sheet. I mean, again, okay, that's fine. 4-1. We'll take the 4-1. Two minutes later, Gale scores again in the 89th minute. 5-1. And then in the 90th minute, Sanchez gets his fourth goal. It was like Bristol City defence just collapsed. You know, there's holes in that defence galore. I would take a 6-1 win over one of our local rivals because being from Bristol myself, against Bristol City had to win. It wasn't that difficult of a game. Two wins from two of his new formation. I'm thinking, great, here we go then. And then we face Coventry away. Now, Coventry is not an easy team to play against, regardless. They're currently in a relegation scrap, but... 4-0 win. Another clean sheet as well. We would have had a clean sheet against Bristol City, but for the penalty. Gale getting the scoring underway in the 16th minute before Sanchez, who's absolutely on scoring form at the moment, getting the second goal in the 31st minute. Contreras getting the third on the hour mark. It was a cross, but it went in. It was a cross slash shot. I'm saying I meant to cross it, but it went in the back post over, over the keeper's head. Went in the back post. I'm not going to argue, but a goal was a goal. And then the new boy, Lorenzo Janssen, in the 72nd minute, getting his first goal for the club, wrapping up the scoring, 4-0, clean sheet, three points more importantly, and a good all-round team performance. Then, three days later, we faced a releg another relegation candidate, 
Blackburn Rovers and we come away with a 2-1 win. Sanchez again with the opening goal in the 36th minute before a Jack Vale equalizer in the 66th minute and then the big boy at the back in the 81st minute time and composure Ed Wilkes getting the second goal make it 2-1 with 10 minutes left of the game giving us all three points against a very strong spirited Blackburn Rovers so that's now four wins on the bounce in those four games we've scored 13 goals conceding only two confidence is high we think we can beat anyone and then we face Sunderland and boy was I wrong boy was I wrong losing 3-1 to Sunderland Elliot Emberton first half hat trick scoring in the second the 24th and the 38th minute to give Sunderland a 3-0 lead at halftime and it was fairly deserved we didn't create nothing it was one of those games where we just couldn't break their defense but Sanchez in the 80th minute does get a consolation for goal for us Sanchez at the moment is on absolute fire him and Gail together working well Clarkson unfortunately hasn't had any any game time at all because Gail and Sanchez just banging the goals in even their fitness is doing well so after all those results this is what the current league table looks like we're currently sitting in the last playoff place in sixth place Bournemouth are top of the league on 47 then come Fulham on 46 with Burnley on 45 that's a tough top three Swansea are on fourth on 40 points then come Norwich on 39 four points behind them are us on 35 sixth place Hull who are today's opponents on 35 same as Sheffield United are sitting in eighth Sunderland are sitting in ninth on 31 then come Watford on 29 Bolton on 29 Preston on 27 13th place we've got Birmingham on 27 as well same as Millwall's on 27 points and they sit in 14th Bristol City sit in 15th on 27 points Huddersfield on 26 QPR on 25 Luton in 18th on 24 Blackburn in 19th on 21 Wigan in 20th with 20 points Cardiff have crawled themselves out of the relegation zone and now on 19 points sitting in 21st Stoke are in the relegation zone sitting on 18 Portsmouth allowed 12 points and commentary on 11 points it's a tough tight league a win gets you in the playoffs a defeat and you're back in the relegation zone it's a tight tight league if you remember earlier i mentioned a new signing scoring against commentary his first goal for the club this is the player lorenzo jansen a 19 year old belgium free transfer 77 rated and boy what a difference he makes Four star skill moves, four star weak foot, and is getting better with training. Physically, he's unbelievable reactions, jumping and strength, he can, needs to work on. But physically, he's good. Mentals, he's good as well. Technically, he can be better, and he will be better, I think. A few areas we need to work on. But for a free transfer for a 77 rated 19 year old, Lorenzo Janssen has made a massive difference in this team. So he will be starting today's game. And here we go then, boys and girls. Harchester United versus Hull. As you can tell, we've made a few changes to the team. Castillo is now in place of Morris. I think Morris is good. He was fine, but Castillo is just 72 rated. He's a very good player. He's quite tall as well. So he's coming in place of Morris. You've got Ramiro and goal. We've got Dennis Schultz and Wilkes. Solid back three. I'm keeping them solid. Dennis is nearly rated 80. Unbelievable. In the central midfield, we've got Mendes and we've got Bustos. We've got Rodriguez on the right, you've got Castillo on the left, and you've got Janssen as our cam. Sanchez and Gale up front. They have been smashing the goals in. Probable lineups are a 4 4 2. That is likely to change. Same as the team lineup. Let's go to a Dragon's Lair and can we get back on winning ways? Or will another Northeast team beat us at three points? It's a 6 45 kickoff, which is a bit early. No mind. Right, let's go to the Dragon's Lair and see what we can do. And a warm welcome on what is an ideal night for football, you've got to say. My name's Derek Ray, and delighted to have alongside me, as usual on these occasions, Stuart Robson. And the focus is very much on live action from the Championship. Stuart, how do you see this one going? Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I've played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today.
So the initial 11 for the home side. Well, in this formation, the wide centre-backs need to be good all-round players, both in possession and defensively. They have to defend the box and also get out into the wide areas to cover the wing-backs. And this is how the starting lineup looks for Hull City. Well, this system gives them a good defensive base. A well-drilled back four, a solid midfield with wide players tucking in, and two forwards who can press the ball. But does it provide enough fluidity going forward? I'm never sure. So here we go then. Hull do keep to their 4-4-2 formation. They are level on points for us, just outside of the playoffs. It's not going to be an easy game. It's going to be a tough game to play. Gale's on scoring form. Sanchez is currently the top goal scorer in the league. Can we get all three points? Hold to kick us off, kick from right to left. And now they get the Here we go. Rolling. Have we learned from our mistakes against Sunderland? Or are we going to be should walk out clear winners? Shows. Wilkes. Looking Here's for Castillo. Castillo. Oh, that's a naughty tackle. Two Can minutes in. Like that's that. a naughty tackle. He's been booked for that. Way on long one. Three he minutes in. It's a hairdo and a half, mind you. It's back in hairdo. Castillo didn't like it. it oh, that's a two foot. Left. That's a two foot tackle. Surely there was no need for that. And here come Hull Tete. I think that's right. Glance at the table. It really is Long one. To be a captivating season, highly Slater. Especially at the summit. Well, what a oh, great right, Stuart, it's a good ball through. Clear it. Luckily, good defender by Dennis. Castillo. It's a good ball. Good one too. Castillo. He's in. Castillo. Castillo. Oh, what a save by the keeper. What a save. What a counter-attack as well from the boys. Castillo, Mendes, and Sanchez all working together. Rodriguez to the corner then. Whips it in. It's a good ball. Ooh, he's, I think Sanchez was going for it. Gives it to Wilkes. Janssen, shot is blocked. Don't know if it was on target or not. But Oscar can make way for Hull. Christie, that's a good, good touch. And Oscar brings it forward. Books long, ah, uh, wins it back. Castillo. Bustos. Janssen. As well. Good run, uh, Janssen. Sanchez! 1 0. Isaac Sanchez. 17th goal of the season, I do believe. What a finish. Good run by Janssen. Picks out. Uh, Sanchez on the run. What a run that is. Through ball. Sanchez, he's left unmarked. Keeper could have done better. Should have done better in all fairness. But Isaac Sanchez with the goal. Oh, keeper goes down early. But we'll take it. 1-0. We have been the better side so far. He's got always in that jacket again. 15 minutes played. 17th goal of the season for Isaac Sanchez. In 19 games as well. What a signing he has turned out to be. We go again. Got a long way to go. Dennis. Bustos. Janssen. Gale. Oh, football. Mendes. Oh, he hasn't got a first time shot on him. Decent football played by us, though. Great football. Oh, he kind of hits it onto his other, other foot. That was a chance. Cut and hole apart, though. This 4 4 2 formation. Referee base play on. It was a free kick, but nothing given. He had the ball. Bustos. Oh, poor pass from Bustos. Here come Hull. We can't get out of our half now. Denise against Satini. Puts him up. Shot. Oh, oh, oh. outstretching leg from the striker. Couldn't reach it. Hull's best chance. 32 minutes played. They have pressed us a little bit. We struggle to get out of our half, but... We go on, we carry on. Shows is on him. Oscar still got it. Gets the cross in. Castillo can clear. Get a win that he does. Janssen. 
over the top for Sanchez. A great ball. Gale! Oh! <laughs> it's two! It's 2 0, James Gale! Sanchez with the assist. What a counteracting football again. Counteracting? Counter attacking football. Spit it out, Spence. Great boy over the top. Sanchez sees the runner, Gale. Slots at home. Keeper gets a foot to it. Couldn't get enough on it, though. Makes it 2 0 just before the half time whistle. Oh, I've been pushing us as well. Just been pushing us. 40 minutes played, 5 to go to half time. And it's 2 0. Rodriguez, he doesn't. Santi gets it back. Oh, good tackle by Rodriguez. Can we keep it till half time? Keep it 2 0 half till half time. Oh, I thought he was going to shoot. He doesn't laser off. I think the shot was the easier option. It's a poor touch. Mendes shows. Keep ball to a half time. Rodriguez lays it off in the middle. And that is the half time whistle. 2 0. Hoo wee. Sanchez and Gale with the goals. And I think it's fair to say he's had happy it's not been as easy as it sounds, 2 0 up. They've had a whole bunch of chances and they've been. They like a tackle. They do like a tackle. But 2 0 half time. We'll take it. Here we go. That second half underway. So Let's not collapse and concede and two goals here. Let's keep it nice and tight. Shows we take our time, we come away with it. Wilkes. Dennis. Oh, it was a poor pass from Dennis. Gives us straight to Slater. We'll be careful of passes. Lockman's, long one's in. Oh, good tackle by Wilkes. I think Wilkes put him off with a slight tackle. And he drags his shot wide. It's a chance we shouldn't be given hold on. We might take it every next time we give it to him. Janssen has it. Janssen. A couple of uh, misplayed passes has put us under pressure. Sanchez. Sanchez! Oh, straight out of keeper. Could have done better. She's going to cross keeper, but. Ooh, oh! oh. <laughs> Poor touch from, a keep from the defender. Gets away of it. And here come. Ho oh, again. Stand him up. Oh, Rodriguez has fallen asleep. He can go shoot from there. Oh, Shows reads it well. Atete does get the shot off, but drags it wide. Ho have been having a few more chances in the second half. Poor touch by Shows. Should have really made the keeper work there. Gives it a go. Oh, doesn't give it a go. Poor pass. A few passes have gone a bit wayward. Castillo with a tackle. Probably get booked for that. Santi's cut into the middle. Etete. Shot from distance. Saved by Romero. Castillo does pick up a booking for that kind of late tackle. Fernando Castillo. What a name. Oscar's not happy about something. Yeah, it's, it's a little bit late. It's not... Drastic, but hole with the corner with 20 minutes to go. Get a goal now, it might be make it interesting. Can he deliver it with accuracy? Good head by Janssen. Who's the Etete? He's kind of switched off. It's a shot. It's ew. We've got to wake up. Oh, we're making chances. Trying to get back into this game. Wilkes is still out. Mendes. Still Mendes. Referee. It's a tackle from behind. It's definitely a booking. Benjamin Atete with the booking. Nine minutes to go. He kind of drew in the foul, didn't he? Let's be honest. From behind. 32 yards out. We're going to go for it? Why not? We're going to go for it. Okay. Out there. Get out of them. 32 yards out. It's around the wall. There's not enough power on that. Not enough bend. Waste of a... It's a good throw. Oh, good tackle by Wilkes. I was lucky. We had to get that. Bustos well defended. Sanchez. Gale, get there. Gale's in. Gale. Oh, what a save that is. Finessed it, going to the nest in the top corner, and the keeper pulls out a magnificent save. 
Can we get something from this corner from Rodriguez, though? Whips it in. That's Gale's head. <sighs> it was close. Janssen! And it's straight down the keeper's throat. He throws it out. Can he win that? He does. Janssen again. Oh, he's going to set himself up then. Into the final couple of minutes here. Injury time. All three points safe. Oh, it is now. Bustos. Oh, he's looking for Gale. Gets cross in, doesn't get the cross in. Gale. Mendes. Jensen! Saved by the keeper. Unorthodox. But a save nevertheless. Surely the referee's going to call full time after this corner. Rodriguez looks it in. Such as you're not going to get there. Not quite the clearance they were hoping for. Scholes. We get to take the ball with him. We're going to line up with Dennis. He does line up. It's blocked. It goes out for a corner. And still no full time whistle. Dennis is lining that power shot up as well. Rodriguez. Sanchez. Another corner. No, nope, that is the full time whistle. 2 0 win. A clean sheet. Hull had their chances. We didn't play fantastically. It was a difficult game to play. Some of our passing was not great. Some of our touches weren't great. But we come away with. Three points and a 2 0 win. Sanchez and Gale both on the score sheets yet again. So we're now trying to close down the teams above us. But hey, this new, this old, new slash old formation is working. So press conference after the 2 0 win. Team morale is still content. It's not fantastic. Should be after a good win, though. Were you always confident about winning the game today? Uh, we took our chances. Uh, every single one of the lads was committed to the job. We were, we defended well, gave Hull a few chances, but not many. Uh, they didn't take them, but we took ours, which was good. Did you think your boys eased off in the second half? Uh, 9 out of 10s over the pitch. Little white lie, but getting morale up, and need to be high. This is, at the moment, it's currently unhappy. If we can get higher, that'd be fantastic. Slater, he had a good game. We stayed low with him. He was a very good player. Moreira, Romero making one big save from him. Going forward, we've got to reduce the chances we're giving other teams. Otherwise, the better teams will punish us. But after that win, the current league table looks like this. We are still sitting in sixth spot on 38 points. We have closed the gap to Norwich on 39. Fulham are now top of the league on 49. Then come Burnley on 48. Bournemouth on 47. They still got a game to play though. Swansea on 41. Then come Norwich on 39 with us sitting in the last playoff place on 38 level on points with Sheffield United. Bottom of the league, Coventry City are bottom on 11 points. Then come Portsmouth on 12 and Stoke on 18 points. Still play their game. What have we got coming up soon? We've got to play Stoke. We've got to face Norwich, Burnley and QPR. Four big games, especially since two of them are in the playoffs at the moment. Then Portsmouth and Sheffield United beginning of January. That's where you're going to join me next is the Sheffield United game. Ooh, I'm at level one points of us at the moment, just outside the playoffs. So that's going to be interesting. We'll see what happens in the four games before. So that's the end of today's episode. Thank you very much for joining me today. If you have enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. I'm looking to get 10 likes in this video. If you can be one of the amazing people in the world that does like this video, fantastic. Also, if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. And ring the notification bell so you're notified when a new video does go live. Hey, we got three points at the end of the day. It wasn't a bad episode. Got some big games coming up. Hopefully, you can join me for the next episode where we face Sheffield United. Until then, guys, take a stay, look after yourselves, and I will see you all very, very soon. Until then, toodles.